This is the easiest way to remember the signs and symptoms of magnesium imbalances. First, we have hypermagnesemia, which is high levels of magnesium in the blood. And then we have hypomagnesemia, which is low levels of magnesium in the blood. The most important thing you need to know about magnesium is it acts like a sedative. This will make it so much easier for you to remember all of these signs and symptoms. Let's look at hypermagnesemia first. This is low everything. It's opposite of what you think. So when you have high magnesium levels, think low everything. You're going to have low or decreased deep tendon reflexes. The patient will have decreased energy, decreased heart rate, decreased blood pressure, and decreased respiratory rate, possibly leading to respiratory depression and low or decreased bowel sounds. Again, why is this? Because magnesium acts like a sedative. So if you have lots of magnesium, your body will have lots of sedative, hence the low everything. Then we have hypomagnesemia. If magnesium acts like a sedative and you don't have a lot of magnesium, well, you won't be sedated. So think high everything. We'll have high or increased deep tendon reflexes, increased heart rate, and increased blood pressure along with other symptoms. It's important to know for hypomagnesemia, you'll have positive Trousseau's and Chauvic sign. You may be thinking, wait, isn't this for hypocalcemia? Well, yes, you are absolutely correct. This is because calcium and magnesium rise and fall together. So low magnesium means low calcium, which means these two classic symptoms of hypocalcemia. You can find this page and more about electrolytes in the complete nursing school bundle. Happy studying, future nurses.